Oh, hi there. This is Robert of Mayflower. Uh, today's question is, why do we lose friends? I was, I was just told it. <laughs> um, first of all, I don't think we lose friends. I think they, they live on in our hearts, you know. I think that we, the, we, can, we can lose a friend because we've turned off the love. You know, you can, you, can, you can ask for anything and desire anything. Hopefully, it's something that would help yourself to grow and the world to grow. You can ask for anything. But then, it's good to accept the way things are and to give the freedom that you yourself want. And jealousy is a sign of not loving a person for who you really want them to be. Anger is taking away the very freedom you want and forcing other people to see it your way. Obsession is being fixated on one thing rather than 360 degrees. You can love a person really intensely, but you might want to pay attention to your backyard, what's behind you, or your neighbors, and try to help the world be a better place, you know, the whole world be a better place. So, you know, why do we lose friends? Um, sometimes we lose friends for difficult reasons, you know, I might say bad reasons, you know. You lose friends because you know, some kind of like chaos happened and storm and uh, some kind of suffering that didn't bring growth, you know, but, but underneath it all, uh, the Tibetans might be right that everybody we meet in a lifetime either was or will be our mother in some lifetime. Everybody mothers the experience we're having at the very least. And we live on in each other's hearts. And so to really keep loving people, you know, to love them anyway, like Mother Teresa would talk about, love them anyway, even if you don't like them. You never... You know, Jesus and Buddha never said that you had to like people. They said you had to love everybody and respect the divine in everyone. We're trying to divine the divine in everyone. As a psychic astrologer, I'm trying to divine the divine in you through the astrological map. But as a meditator and as a gardener, I'm trying to garden the garden in you. And as a meditator, I'm trying to, you know, find the peace in me so I can find it in you. As a musician, I'm trying to hear the song within me so I can hear the song within you. So, in, in the spiritual sense of view, we can't lose friends. On the materialistic point of view, all the marriages end. Consciousness gets identified with form. So the consciousness is freed from form. And then our mind keeps learning. So there are a lot of special friends that come and join us uh, to learn and to grow and to work and yeah, there's even special friends that come and give you trouble so that you can, you know, you know, no matter how high and spiritual you are, you know, unless the world's enlightened, unless the whole world's enlightened, you have to be a little humble. Plato said if you're willing to learn, anything can happen. So let's keep loving anyway. Let my people go and work on ourselves to be a little more happy and share that. So why do we lose friends? Well, if we're, if we're good loving friends, the distance between us gets hit by our love. So some people part and go to the vast areas of the world so that love will go further and bless everyone. You know, real friends and lovers bless all the space and distance between. So that was, uh, you know, a little bit of poetic. Bless your heart. I'll see you next time with Robert of Mayflower.